Next morning, Mutt traveled with Billy to the big city station. Mutt was sure Lily could help her grandpa, and that together they could help me. But only if Lily met someone special at Shining Time first. Mm -hmm. Attention passengers, the train for Muffle Mountain will depart from track three. Last stop, Muffle Mountain. The train for Shining Time will depart from track four. Shining Time, track four. <laughs> I suppose you know where track three is, do you? You do? Is it that one? Well, why not? I hope you're right. Mutt was feeling pleased with himself. He had put Lily on the wrong train, but he knew he had done so for the right reasons. Left a bit. Ah, uh, no, no, right a bit. Ah, 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 up a bit. Oh, ah, ah. There, James. Tickle all gone now? No, still itchy. Hey, Mr. C, why do you look so tired? Is it because I'm red? Diesel says red is a very tiring color, but Mr. C, red looks so nice against the snow. It's not me, is it? Oh, no, of course not, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful. Oh, good. Just like my sparkle. Or at least it was, and must be again. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm going to the windmill to search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. Okay, Mr. C. Keep your steam up. <laughs> what happened? Where's the windmill? That's where I'm supposed to be. Well, now I've completely lost my sense of direction. Oh. Now my gold dust really is all gone. And if I can't find the source for making more, I know how bad the consequences will be. I saw them in my dream last night. And they never really told me what to do in a gold dust crisis. They only said if you can't remember the clue, the windmill will remind you. But where is the windmill? And what is the clue? Smile, you steamers. It's a sunny day. Rum -rum. It's not sunny because Mr. C's not at the windmill. I look. I think his sparkle's all gone. My smoke box doesn't feel sunny. It feels stuffed up. Nasty fumes from dingy Diesel. <laughs> and Diesel is after the lost engine. And if he finds her, I fear that will destroy us all. What, even an engine as big as me? Yes, Gordon, even you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it, Thomas. I've still got sneezing powder up my funnel. 
Now I'm going to look for Mr. Conductor. Let us get back to work. That's what he would want. How about a race, Thomas? Um, um, sorry, Bertie. I can't today. I have to be a really useful engine and solve some mysteries instead. I guess that means I win. Perhaps another day. Um, um, um.